Good evening and welcome to Canterbury Report. We have the heart. Now they say she's lost yeah. times today. Quarter horses kick it off. Maiden's here, 350 yards. Betty's ornery boy, even money out of the three hole was my selection and my best bet today. Casa de Royal with Jimmy Hunt had a big shot in here. They had a horse from the outside here, Welka Gold, with Curtis Winkle aboard out of the 11 hole. Also, a possibility in the opener. Load them up, let them rip. Here they come in race one. They're all in line. They're off. On the outside, sweeper dash for the lead. He's a jerk, moves up. Then comes Go Whiskey Wrangler. Down at the rail is Ms. T or me. It's sweeper dash. On the outside. On the outside, the winner, number 10, Gold Sweeper. There's a zip code for you, 9740, 3240, and $20. And let me tell you something, everything Jerry Rodriguez gets on has a chance. If you see this guy climb up on your mailbox, put $5 on him. The nine horse run second, Go Whiskey Wrangler, Kent's Hogshead, returns 3320, $20 in the rail horse. Tis T or me, Mark Board alone, 2440 to show. Second race on the card, thoroughbreds go at you. Gray bed from the rail here at Six Furlongs, Manny Ortiz Jr. aboard. I took Liege Lord with Kenny Har. Here they come, second half of the Daily Double. All the way from the gate together on the inside, Great Bed now gets the lead. Liege Lord into second, and on the outside, Iron Charo next in third. On the inside is a Classy Stat, then comes a Halo Dawn, and Darby's Champ, a gap of four, back to Crimson Loom and London Bullet. Around the far turn, Liege Lord on the outside at the rail is Gray Bed. A gap of two and a half. Iron Charo next in third, and uh, Halo Dawn is fourth. They turn for home now. Liege Lord has the lead by two. Gray Bed is next. Iron Charo up in third. Three lengths back is Darby's Chant final furlong. Lee's Lord has the lead, but Iron Charo is gaining on the inside. Lee's Lord and Iron Charo coming on. Kenny Hart takes a long way home as Iron Charo with Richard Atkins gets there first. 111 and for the time, the payoffs. Iron Charo, the winner, returning 1320, 440 and 320 with Richard Atkins in the Irons. The five horse, Lee's Lord, Kenny Hare, 280, 240. And the three-horse classy stat, David Esman, $2.80 in the bottom. Daily double today, and you can pay the rent with this one. The ten-horse in the first race, sweeper dash with Jerry Rodriguez. And in the second race, Iron Charo, Richard Atkins, 10-7, returns $479 even. Exact in the second race, 75, Iron Charo, Lee's lowered $31.20. Third race on the card here, Maidens at four and a half. Some nice, nice fillies going at it here. Evening Angel, five to two, comes from the rail. Groove and Magic with Kenny Hare had a big shot, but the one they had to beat was the horse on the outside. Tommy Maxwell's Tell Holly with Joey Castro up. Here they come in the third. They're off. No peak on the outside, Evening Angel. At the rail, impressive effort right alongside. Tell Holly moves up five wide as they round the far turn. Evening Angel at the rail has the lead on the outside. Tell Holly, impressive effort and grooving magic right there. Aunt Jesse, two lengths back in fifth. No peak is sixth. Fly Western is seventh and Lady Pressure. Top of the stretch and Evening Angel. Heads for the grandstand. Impressive effort. Is next a gap of a two now. Tell Holly in the final furlong. Evening Angel on the outside. Impressive effort down to the rail. Evening Angel gets it together and leads them in front. 
Evening Angel under the wire here with uh, Manny Ortiz Jr. 53 flat to time for the four and a half panels. But as luck would have it, we got a DQ, a little bumping and banging at the top of the stretch. Impressive effort winds up on top here with Jimmy Hunt, 2340, 740, and 360. The eight horse tell Holly, Joey Castro, Martin Kenny, and Tommy Maxwell run second in here, 340 and 260. And the horse that got under the wire first was disqualified and placed third. Evening Angel, Manny Ortiz Jr., $2.60 to show. Get the fishing pole out, Manny. You're going to get some days. 2.8 in the exacta impressive effort. And Tell Holly returns $52.20. Take a look at the DQ now. That's Manny Ortiz in the spotlight on the one horse about five feet out from the rail now. Now, as they go into the turn, you'll notice that two horses will carry up next to him on the outside. The four and the eight, Groove and Magic and Tell Holly, will follow Ortiz into the corner. Ortiz and Evening Angel will carry him wide, causing the disqualification. Looks like they're heading for the Russian border there. Race four in the car today. Maiden Claimers here going six panels. Mini hot job from the rail in here. Had a big chance. Itsy bitsy girl with Karen Knapp out of the two hole. Mom's ring with the fly was my selection out of the eight hole. And three long shots. Chased them from the outside. Here they come. And they kick off the pick six. Race four. Tony? They're all in line. They're on. Never cry over you from between horses for the lead. Miss I.F. on the outside. Mom's ring next up into third. And Itsy Bitsy Girl is next. Hard candy on between horses as he's picked that pocket. Down the back stretch, it's Miss I.F. in front by two. Pick that pocket at the rail. Hard candy is next. And Mom's ring in fourth. Gap of two to never cry out for you, racing fifth. Itsy Bitsy Girl is sixth. Our first victory on the outside, then Irish Parade at the rail. Lovac is next in Tony's Beauty. It's Miss I.F. Bouncing along in front by two. Mom's ring is next and never cry over you. Top of the stretch. Miss I.F. has the lead. Mom's ring, never cry over you, comes on the outside. They're by the furlong pole, and here comes never cry over you. Miss I.F. is next. Irish Parade down at the rail. It's never cry over you and Irish Parade. Tino on never cry over you gets home first. 12 to 1 in the morning. Lines that down to 4 to 1. The time of the race, 1, 14 and 4. Good thing they got in before dark here. The six horse, never cry over you, 10, 20, 5, 60, and 4, 40. The four horse, the tip horse around the track today. Everybody gave me this one from the garbage man to the guy behind the window. Irish Parade, Joey Castro, $8 and $6. And the three horse, pick that pocket. David Wickman, the local boy, $7.40 on the bottom. Fifth race on your Canterbury card. Set the queues back at it again. Claimers at 400 yards. We had a bunch of good ones going at it here. Hustling Wheel, my selection with Curtis Winkle out of the four hole. Had a shot. Dustin Doc, Marty Leach out of the six. And Super Formula One out of the ten hole were the ones that looked the most competitive here in the fifth event of the afternoon. Load them up. Let them rip. Race five. They're on. On the inside, hustling a wheel. Final game down at the rail is Call Me Kitaman. On the outside, next is Dustum Doc. And Vivid Sounds comes on. Hustling a wheel. Dustum Doc on the inside. Final game and Vivid Sounds. Tight as a wire. You guessed it, the nine horse. Vivid Sounds. Darren Miller, 54 60, 12 60, 7 60. Second in here, the six horse, Dustin Doc, Marty Leach. $5 in 360 and a four horse run third. Hustle and Wheel, my selection today in the newspaper of the Twin Cities, the Star Tribune, 35 cents and what a bargain. $5 on the bottom. 
nine, six, exact to vivid sounds, Dustin Dock, two hundred and fifty three dollars and sixty cents. Hit one of those, Johnny, we'd be up all night, wouldn't we? Six race on the car today. Claimers here. They're going to go a mile for you. Whitewater Express in the rail. French Express, a 2-1 out of the two hole. There's Halogen with a big shot in here. Billy Fox Jr. aboard. I took Varsity Type, Danny Delahosi out of the seven hole. And no rippling. Manny Ortiz Jr. came from the outside. Here they come, race six. And they're all in line. They're off. Halogen for the lead. Varsity type on the outside end. Whitewater Express down at the rail as they move to the first turn. Whitewater Express on the outside is Varsity type. French Express now gains at the rail and Halogen settles into fourth. No rifling is next in fifth. Sultan's Gold is sixth. Praise Paris seventh and Frank Norton is eighth. Down the back stretch, Whitewater Express has the lead on neck with Varsity Type right there on the outside. Three lengths back is French Express. Praise Paris fourth at the rail and Sultan's goal is fifth. Halogen next in sixth. No rifling is seventh and Frank Norton is eighth. Three furlongs from home and Varsity Type inches up to take over the lead. Now Varsity Type a length and a half. Whitewater Express drops back a bit in second. A gap of three to Praise Paris and French Express on the outside. Turning for home now. Varsity Type with the lead by two and a half. Whitewater Express is next then Praise Paris. Sullen's gold on the inside and French Express. A sixteenth of a mile to run. Varsity type by five and Whitewater Express. Varsity type. Danny Delahosi very comfortable at the wire aboard Varsity type. 138 and one. Very nice time here for the mile. The seven horse wins it. Varsity type. 560, 360 and 320. The rail horse. Whitewater Express race riding. Rock and rolling. Engaged. Ronnie Allen Jr. returning 520, 380. And the three horse, Praise Paris, Cindy Springman, Ronnie's fiance. She finishes right behind him here today. $8.80 to show. The exact 7 to 1 varsity type Whitewater Express, 4040. Seventh race on your Friday afternoon Canterbury 10 race card was a claimer. At six furlongs, Jets a Dream, Dino from the rail in here. Quick Love and Manny Ortiz Jr., the favorite. Blue Green Tangle will roll on four to the last time. Eyeballed him and beat him. Let's see what happens today. Here they come into seven. They're off. Dodo's land broke in the air. Rolled on poorly. Gets the early lead. Blue Green. Radio control also right there, and Brits Billy settles into fourth. Quick loving at the rail, fifth. Dodo's land is sixth. And Jet's dream is the trailer. Passing the half, roll on Forley in front of length and a quarter. Radio control is next. Blue Green is third by two, and Quick loving fourth a half. Brits Billy in fifth. Dodo's land is sixth, and Jet's dream is the trailer. Midway on the turn, and uh, there goes Radio Control up on the outside to challenge. Roll on Forley, and Blue Green just off the pace, itching up on the inside. Down the stretch. Radio Control rolled on Forley, trying to hang on. Blue Green at the rail. Now Quick Lovin' on with a late foot. Roll on Forley still has the lead. Quick Lovin is gaining rapidly on the outside. Blue Green at the rail. It's Quick Lovin taking command. Manny Ortiz Jr. aboard. Quick Lovin flying down the stretch here for B.S. Flint. One, ten, and two the time. The payoffs. Quick Lovin, 460, 342, 60. The seven horse roll on. Forley hangs on for second with the fly. 380 and 280. And the three horse, Blue Green, Joey Castro, $2.60 on the bottom.
Eighth race on the card, Lowndes Company here, quarter horses, 350 yards. Start from the rail out. Miscount the cash, 18 to 1. Duro Fashion Plate, one of the favorite last time out, 5 to 1 today. In here, I selected a dash of ginger, 6 to 1. I might get a prize here running Darla from the outside. Here they come in a quarter horse feature. They're on. From the outside, Go Easy Smith, New Vision. On the inside, Duro Fashion Plate and Misty Moon Luck. Mary's Valentino gains. Nearing the finish now on the outside, New Vision. New Vision down the middle of the racetrack to win it with Mark Bordelion aboard. Six horse, 2020, 20, 960, and 680. The four horse run second, Mary's Valentino, Mike Burgess. $14 and $10, and congratulations to Sheila Everett of the other newspaper. She picked this exacta in the paper today. How about that? Nine horse runs third, Krista's deal. Jerry Rodriguez, he gets a bunch of horses on the board. $6.40 in the bottom, 64 exacta. At a girl, Sheila. New vision, Mary's Valentino, $154 even. Ninth race on the card, the featured event of the day, allowance company here at six furlongs. Proctologist came from the inside. <laughs> Knight's Fast Cat out of the two hole with Dean Coots. I took Fantast out of the three hole. Proc Prospector Smile from the outside. We had a late rider change in here. The Flav aboard. Here we go. Little Brad feature the ninth race. Allowance Company at six. They're on. Lovers Concerto and uh, Prospector's Smile for the lead on the outside. Michael D. Mann is next. Fantast moves up. Realness is fifth at the Rail Knights Fast Cat. And Proctologist is the trailer. Down the back stretch, Fantast has the lead. Lovers Concerto on the outside. Then comes Prospector. Spectre's Smile and Knight's Fast Cat at the rail. Michael D. Mann is fifth. Realness is next, followed by Proctologist. It's Fantast with the lead. Prospector's Smile is next. Three legs back is Knight's Fast Cat, and down the stretch, Fantast has the lead. Prospector's Smile up on the outside. Knight's Fast Cat, then Michael D. Mann, and Realness by the 16th pole. Prospector Smile and Fantast. Michael D. Mann gains along with Realness. It's Prospector Smile. Prospector Smile with pinch hitter the flop aboard. Time of the race, 1, 10, and 2. Moving right along here in the feature. Whoo, look at this payoff. Prospector Smile with the flop, 93, 60, 22, 40, 460. The five horse, Michael DeMann, Vicki Warhol runs second in here, 420, 260, and the three horse, Fantast, race riding, rock and roll, and Ronnie Allen Jr., 260 in the bottom, 75 exacta, Prospector Smile, Michael DeMann, $328 even. In the big gimmick today, the pick six, the number 69, 72, 67. Nobody hit it today. Total pool, 40,000. $796. One winner had five of six. $15,706.46. Nice carryover. $36,990 for Preakness Day. In the triple, $267. Return $4,286. And don't forget that triple often pays over $1,000. Head race on the card today. The nightcap. Flamers go at six furlongs here. Northern Coast, the favorite from the rail with Mikey Allen aboard. Had a bunch of old favorites in here, exclusive sound, Riley Allen Jr., Mr. Value out of the seven hole, my kind, owned by Gary Hoffman, 28 to one today. I took Stand Up Proud, 31 to one here, and Dandy Andy came from the outside with a Dandy Dandy De La Jose. Load them up, let them rip in the nightcap. They're all in line, they're on. On the outside, Mr. Value gets the early lead. Title song is next along the inside. Northern Coast now moves up and exclusive sound is fourth.
Stand Up Proud, fifth on the outside. Railroad Red is sixth. Dandy Andy, seventh. And Man of Straw is eighth. Plenty of Speed, next ninth. Cherokee Prince is tenth. Loosely, eleventh. And My Kind. Northern Coast has the lead. On the outside, Mr. Value and Title Song, a length back in third. Five lengths back now, exclusive sound. Railroad Red on the inside, then Dandy Andy. Turning for home, Mr. Value. On the outside and Northern Coast at the rail. It's a gap of uh, five lengths, a late run by Cherokee Prince by the 16th pole. Northern Coast on the inside and Mr. Value on the outside. Northern Coast and Mr. Value. Northern Coast along the rail with Mike Allen gets home first here. Time of the race, one, 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 one. The Mutuals. Northern Coast, 620, 480, 340. Seven horse run second, Mr. Value. Nice long shot in here for Rodney Trader and Mr. Michael Green, $13.980. And the two-horse, Cherokee Prince, Lewis the Glove, Chinchara. $4.40 on the bottom. The 1-7 exact, the Northern Coast, Mr. Value, returns $97.80. Got a big surprise for you tomorrow. Did not take winning colors in the Preakness. Got a long shot for you, and for $0.35 cents in the Star Tribune newspaper of the Twin Cities, you can get that pick tomorrow. And I'll tell you what, if you bet.